the New Beverly Cinema, which started out as a vaudeville theater, and then it became a nightclub. And then in the late 70s, they started showing double features, and they haven't stopped since. Tonight they're showing Night of the Demon, one of the great horror films of the 50s, directed by Jacques Tourneur. And that's followed by The Lineup, directed by Don Siegel, sort of a gritty cop thriller. That one's kind of hard to find, so I'm really excited about seeing that one. My friends Ryan, Clint, and Rochelle will be joining me. Afterwards, we're going to go to Cantor's to discuss the film, so that should be fun. about the shots of the demon? It looks like a Marie Sendak character, you know, like in the, where the wild things are, although I guess it must have been like actually scary for 1958. One thing that I love about Schindler is these really brief but very suspenseful scenes that he has in many of his films. One of the examples in this film being when uh, Dane Andrews first finds out that he's supposed to die, he's returning to his hotel. There's a scene in the in the hallways, and you know it's a scene that lasts maybe a minute. I love that first shot where it's just over the shoulder and he's looking down, and the shot just holds for a little bit longer than what's normal, I think, and that actually really intrigued me because I was interested in seeing what was going on around me. I think the movie was very intense, and. Um, communicated the, uh, I don't know, that, that overwhelming feeling of getting in over your head, getting in too deep. Uh, the lineup, on the other hand, perfect B-movie, right? I think the car chase at the end, despite the rear projection, which obviously dates it, I thought it was really exciting, you know, the way they staged that. I like the really excellently photographed close-ups that were pieced together to build intensity and suspense. This was a very violent and at times very cruel film, uh, unusually so, I'd say, for 1958, but uh, I guess being such a low-budget film, they were able to, to get away with something that a major studio release would not have allowed. Yeah, and you can, you can actually see the, um, you know, the bullet holes in the oh, blood. And they take great effort to make sure you see Eli Wallach falling and hitting all of those barriers on the yes, way down. Yes, oh, yes, exactly. It's like, it's like we, we're, we've got to get this through. You see it all. 